high Brentech here where tech is made simple. So Mica adds a slightly transparent background to application windows and it's part of the Windows 11 Fluent Design System and is an opaque dynamic material that incorporates theme and desktop wallpaper to paint the background of long-lived windows such as apps and settings according to Microsoft. And I posted a video, two videos actually, a couple of months ago that the Mica effect had arrived in Firefox in preview where if we just drag the browser around you can see the tab bar here at the top changes to match the wallpaper behind it so it kind of picks up a translucence highlights the color in the tab bar as we move that browser around and also the context menus had acquired that as well you can see that's transparent and i think the stable also has the uh, the marker effect in the context menus yes that is definitely there now just to let you know that Microsoft now has furthered their progress on bringing Mica more into the browser. And the Mica effect now is now applied to the browser toolbar, as you can see. Not just the tab bar and the context menus, as I've previously posted. And the toolbar is the section that contains your address bar, your navigation buttons and extension menu icons, just to mention a couple. And you can see now, if I drag the browser, it picks up here in the toolbar, it picks up that opaque dynamic material, it incorporating theme and desktop wallpaper. We can see it over here as well. So doing exactly the same as those other elements. So. This is not available as yet in the stable. We can see if I hit to stable in the toolbar, nothing really happening there, it just stays that kind of dark gray. So this has just arrived in Firefox Nightly, which has just been updated to version 142. Just on a side note, later today, we are getting Firefox version 140, which will be our next stable release. And obviously I'll let you know about that when that arrives. So this is in 142, so there's a good chance that the marker effect in the toolbar will arrive with Firefox 142, obviously not confirmed, but and this is all part of Firefox trying to make the browser a little bit more in line with the other conventional web browsers as I've been posting over the last couple of months and when this does arrive in the stable, obviously I'll try and keep you in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.